Cervical cancer, despite being one of the most common cancers in the country, is also one of the few cancers which can be prevented by vaccines. So here are few things that you must know about cervical cancer. In most cases of cervical cancer, the root cause is exposure to a virus called human papilloma virus. This virus is mostly transmitted by sexual route and for majority of us, our immune system is able to take care of it. But in certain cases, when exposure is there to certain strains of the virus, this can lead to further inflammation of the cervix, which can later develop into cancer. If you wish to know whether you have been exposed to the virus or not, there is a very simple HPV DNA test that you can undergo to see if you have had exposure to the virus in the past or not. Second thing to keep in mind is that this cancer is almost always preceded by certain inflammatory changes in the cervical epithelium. These changes can be easily evaluated and detected by a simple test called pap smear test. So if you are a woman who is sexually active, you should start getting your pap smear test done regularly by your gynecologist once at least in two to three years. Currently, there are two vaccines which are approved for use against HPV virus in the country. Both these vaccines can be given as early as 9 to 11 years of age in young girls and protect from certain strains of the virus that are known to be associated with cervical cancer. So if you are a parent of an adolescent girl, do approach your pediatrician to see if your daughter is eligible to receive this vaccine. Even if you have not received the vaccine as a young girl, you can still take the vaccine as late as till 65 years of age. The only catch being, if you have taken the vaccine after starting sexual activity, you should complement it with regular pap smear exams as well. In conclusion, since cervical cancer is one of the most common cancers in the country and there are ways to prevent it, so why not meet your pediatrician or your gynecologist to see what measures you can take to protect yourself from cervical cancer.